Hello Sagittarius, Sun and Rising and Venus and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. We have made the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. We'll see why you're getting this card and how it resonates with your reading for today. But let's focus on you first and then we'll jump over to your person. How does Sagittarius currently view this relationship? Alrighty, let's do this. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles, and then we also have the King of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. I feel like you're trying to keep yourself extremely busy slash occupied. And it could, it could just be that you're keeping yourself extremely busy slash occupied with work to forget about something or someone. But there's something that's weighing very heavily in the back of your mind. And I see you really trying your hardest to like shift your focus onto other things. But it's coming from a place of not wanting to dwell on something. It's coming from a place of not wanting to think about something and or someone. Okay. How does this person currently view this relationship? We have the Queen of Swords. We have mm -hmm, the Emperor. And then we have the Ace of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the uh, Ten of Wands. And then we also have the Seven of Swords. Okay. I need to focus on you first just to really get a rough idea of what the heck is going on here between you and this person. So let's start off with you first, and then I'll jump over to this person. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords. All right, um, let me grab the card that fell, hold on. All right, Sag, so we have the Four of Cups, we have the Six of Cups, and then we also have the Chariot. You're trying to forget about someone here. You're trying to forget about someone here. And it's somebody that you you, you shared a very strong soul tight connection to. It just kind of looks like things more than likely came to an end here between you and this person. And I feel like you're trying your hardest to keep yourself extremely busy slash occupied with work. Uh, you know, just anything to keep your mind off of this person and what you once upon a time had with this person, you're going to sign yourself up to do it. So it looks like things came to an end here between you and this person. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the world, um, which can definitely insinuate an ending that took place here between you and this person. But you're just trying to keep yourself extremely busy slash occupied. So that way you're not thinking about them and whatever happened here between you and them. Now, what's interesting is that we have the Queen of Swords, then we have the Emperor, and then we also have the Ace of Swords to so the Seven of Swords. Uh to the Ten of Wands. I kind of feel like this person is eventually going to end up breaking their silence. Okay, sad. So just, just expect communication um, to basically transpire here between you and this person. Because I feel like since things came to an end here between you and them, it's like they kind of went their way. You kind of went your way. But um, I do see this person eventually breaking their silence here. Um, I want to look at the Ten of Wands for whatever odd reason. Can I more about the uh, Ten of Wands? We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And then we also have the King of Swords. True pair situation here between you and this person. You know, the fact that things are transpiring the way that they are transpiring currently right now um, between you and this person, it doesn't sit well with them. It just doesn't sit well with them. And they honestly feel like if the two of you were to just come together and have a conversation with one another, that things could drastically change here for the better. But they just kind of feel like by them not saying anything to you, by you not saying anything to them, they don't necessarily feel like it's going to help and or improve this situation here between you and them. So that's why this person's breaking their silence here, Sag. They want, they want to create change here. They want things to go back to the way it used to be here between you and them. And they just don't like the way things are currently playing out here between you and them. It just doesn't sit well with them. It just doesn't sit well with them. It doesn't. So you will be hearing from this person. More of the story. How does Sagittarius currently feel? 
So we have the Seven of Cups. We also have the King of Wands. And then we also have, Jesus, Sag, the Hierophant. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Tower. We also have the Six of Swords. And we have the Death card to the Strength card to the... See, this is kind of like an overall energy of you really trying your hardest to just move forward and move on with your life. And move past everything here that happened between you and this person but it's it's going to be very difficult for you to do that because they're resurfacing back up here for you it's going to make that whole moving on process that much more difficult for you um so then there's that i gotta be honest your response and your reaction to all of this man it's like uh, what do you want what do you want what do you want what what is it you know the fact that they're resurfacing back up here for you it's annoying. It is annoying because I feel like you're trying to forget about them. I feel like you're just trying to move on and move forward with your life. And the fact that they're just resurfacing back up here for you, wanting to have a conversation with you, you're just like, oh my God, like, what do you want? What do you want? I'm trying to move on with my life. And moving on, it, it's a very difficult process for you. You know, it, it's not like you're looking at this relationship that you once upon a time had with this person, like they never meant anything to you, like you never cared about them because I feel like you genuinely cared about this person. But the fact that, you know, it's over between you and this person, you just kind of want to focus on your overall healing and, and, and letting this whole entire situation go and, and just focusing on your future and just simply moving forward. But it's going to be hard, man. Unfortunately for you, I'm sorry. It's going to be very hard for you to move forward and move on with your life because they refuse to let this relationship go. So, sorry, sad. I'm sorry. Sorry. Hmm. How does this person feel? Yeah. You know, sometimes you don't necessarily know what you have until you lose it, right? And I feel like that's just what this person's experiencing, to be completely honest. You know, through this separation, they're starting to come to terms with the fact that they don't necessarily want to be without you nor picture a life without you. So... That's basically what they want. They want to bring this relationship back together all over again. But I can tell, dude, it's like the moment this person resurfaces back up here for you, you're just like, oh my God, like what? What do you want? What do you want now? You know, what do you have to say now? Like, it does kind of have that feel. I just feel like you just, just, I just feel like you want to move forward and move on with your life um, and just forget about this whole entire relationship that you had with this person. But I'm sorry, Sag. They're going to be resurfacing back up here for you. I see you getting so freaking annoyed by it. Um, because again, it's like you're already trying to keep yourself busy and occupied with work and things like that. And the fact that they're resurfacing back up here for you, it's causing you to just basically feel like they're trying to suck you back in all over again. Um, so then there's that side. Sorry. Sorry. What actions? Okay, let's see. We have the uh, Nine of Cups. We also have the Ten of Swords. And then we also have the Hangman. Okay. What actions will this person take towards Sagittarius? Hmm. We have the Ace of Wands. We got the Queen of Wands, which is you. And then we also have the uh, Eight of Pentacles. True pair situation again. Uh, between you and this person. Mm. They just want to fix things, man. They just want to fix things with you. They just want to fix things with you. They're under a lot of stress right now, too. I also kind of feel like there's a lack of sleep uh, happening here on this person's behalf. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about how things are currently playing out here between you and them. And it just doesn't, it doesn't feel right to them. It doesn't sit well with them. It doesn't. Being without you just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right to this person. It just doesn't. They just want to work things out, man. That's it. They just want to work things out. But I'm going to be honest. It's like your overall energy is like, no. No, I'm done. Like, I'm moving forward. I'm moving on with my life. Like, please leave me alone so I can do that. Please. Like, that's your overall energy. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Ten of Swords. We got the Ten of Wands. Then we got the Eight of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles to the Sun. Jesus. To the King of Swords. And then we also have the uh, 
Five of Pentacles to the Two of Wands to the Seven of Wands. Hold on. And then we got the Four of Wands. Who's ever resonating with this uh, mask and energy, this, this King of Swords, whoever this person is to the right of me, just expect the person to the left of me to give you a very difficult time as far as like letting you back in is concerned. If you continue to be consistent and persistent as far as like trying to have a reconciliation with this Queen of Wands, eventually you'll get the outcome that you want, but you would have to be very consistent and very persistent. Uh, you got to be ready to fight, homie, is basically what I'm saying. And eventually I see this Queen of Wands giving in at first. They're going to give you a very, very difficult time because I kind of see that happening, but they'll give in eventually. They'll give in eventually. All right. So back to, to you, Sad, right? Um, you know, as far as like you moving forward is concerned, it's it's that overall energy of no, my mind's made up. I'm done. We're done. That's it. I'm moving forward and moving on with my life. Um, I feel like that's what you're going to do moving forward, you know, is to continue to focus on just getting over this person and moving forward and moving on with your life. Um, but <laughs> like you already kind of heard me say, um, I, I kind of feel like eventually you'll you'll give in. If, if this person remains consistent and persistent and they're ready to put up a fight, yeah, I see you giving in. I do see you giving in. All right, any advice for Sagittarius? Okay, we have trust. We also have let go of control issues and then we also have past life relationship. With let go of control issues, I do kind of feel like this person to the right of me kind of feels like this whole entire situation is out of their control, but it's not, but it's not. The only reason why they feel like this whole entire situation is out of their control is because you're putting up a fight. You're not making it easy for this person. Like you're just not, <laughs> you're not making it easy for them. So it is going to cause them to feel like I have no control over this situation. And oh my God, I'm going to lose Saj for good. Mm -mm. They, they actually, they actually can totally pull this off and get the outcome that they basically want. It's going to take them a minute to get the outcome that they want. Cause I see you, it's like, here you are putting up a fight. Here you are putting up a fight. Here you are putting up a fight. We see you doing it again. And then we also kind of see you doing it all over again. Eventually you will cave in, uh, and they're going to get the outcome that they basically want. They just have to be very consistent and very persistent here and not back down. Like you could tell this person you don't want to be with them, but if they continue to put up a fight and show you, yo, I am not going anywhere. I'm here to stay. I'm going to fight for this because you are what I want. Oh, honey, are you going to give in? So yeah, person to the right of me, be consistent, be persistent, get ready to put up a fight because this queen of wands, mm, they're going to make it a little bit difficult for you, my friend. But if you continue to stay persistent and consistent, you'll get your baby back. All right? Uh, don't tell them I told you that. All right? So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated also, too. For those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, it's linked in the description box down below. Good luck to the both of you moving forward. You guys are going to end up getting back together. I hate to just kind of say it, but it's going to happen, you guys. But yeah. That's what I have for you, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.